Oh, wow, that's a question, so it could be a long one. Basically, I'll go back a second. So, you know, all I know how to do is singing and dancing. That's, like, my passion. And, you know, when I was 15, I thought, you know, just take lots of lessons, be an awesome vocalist, do a demo, send it to record labels, and I'll get signed, right? Like, that's just, like, the normal formula. But I sent out lots of packages to every label, like, known to man. <laughs> And nobody replied. And I was like, what? what are, what's happening? Like, what's going on? And, you know, the songs were, they were good, but, you know, I'm sure they could have been better. So I really had to, like, step back and evaluate, you know, in this day and age, you really have to be open to change. Like, just because you're doing all the thing, things right, people might not be attracted to that. So I really, I, I, I sat back and... I decided to kind of go more of the independent route and I saved all my money and I hired a radio promoter that put out my first single, which was called The Naughty Song, which uh, ended up going top 10 and I was nominated for Juno, so it really is what kind of put me on the map and guess what? All those labels called me back after that song started charting. So it's really about like being open to change, making your own way. You know, it's kind of like, if the door is closed, well, you know what? Open the window beside it and crawl in and figure out exactly what you can do to get yourself noticed because it's so hard these days. So, yeah, so that's basically my story and how I really kind of came to light. All right. And you've had many successes, but I'm sure you've also had many setbacks within your career. What do you think helped you the most to help you teach you how to deal with tough times? That's a tough one too, actually. Like, as an artist, like in the creative field, I mean, I, I believe in every field. Like, there's always times that you doubt yourselves, you know what I mean? There's always times where you kind of sit back and you're like, well, maybe I'm not good enough, or, you know, maybe I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing, or maybe I should, hey, maybe I should just go be a banker or something. Like, not that the banker's not awesome, because it is. But, uh, so I really, for me, whenever I'm kind of doubting myself, which, happens often because, you know, my, my music is an extension of myself, and so if someone doesn't like my song, I'm like, well, why didn't you like my song? Like, those are my feelings. That's my voice. Like, that's who I am. I really, my two ways of kind of dealing with that are, I, I sometimes have to call up my BFF in Vancouver and, and just vent to her. That, and it's really, lately, it kind of like an inner dialogue I have with myself. I kind of have a mantra right now. I actually wrote it on my wall recently. It's, um, I am talented, I deserve it, I'm capable. Because so many times we, like, we say to ourselves, like, I'm not good enough. Well, every time we say that, you're doing yourself a disservice, because you are, and you can be. So you just have to... Confidence is so huge. Like when you walk into a room, it's everything. Like if you walk into a room and you're unconfident, like, hey guys, no one's going to look at you. No one's going to pay attention to you. So you got to walk and be like, hey, here I am. Look at all the amazing things that I can do. So that's what I try and tell myself all the time when, uh, when I'm doubting myself. <laughs> No, I think that's great advice. I think we tend to forget about it, overlook it, that when we talk negatively about ourselves, that we're making ourselves more negative and it's making it come true. Totally. We have to take a positive look on life so that we become better, we develop, we grow. We are our thoughts, for yes, sure. Yes, we are. <laughs> um, you are a great singer, but you're also an actress, a model, a songwriter. Like, What made you push yourself to do so much more when you're already so busy? I mean, I love it all. I really am just a creator. I love creating and entertaining whatever kind of facet that is. Um, singing is what brought me into acting, and I definitely am a firm believer to be, again, as I said, open to change. It's like, if a door opens, there might be a reason why, and you might, you might want to go and explore that, and you'll know then in your heart if that's something that you love to do or you don't. So. I'm definitely one of those people that it's kind of like if an opportunity arises, I definitely dive in and uh, see where it takes me. And like with acting, Instant Star was my first kind of big, big lead role, and they were looking for a singer, and that's how I ended up auditioning for that show. And when I auditioned for it, I didn't really know what was happening, but then when I got the role and I started working on set, I was like, oh my gosh, like this is just as awesome as singing, like I can't even compare them, they're both just as great, 
So yeah, just being open to change. And like things happen for a reason. Like if doors open, you should you should explore them. They might not all be good doors. Trust me. Some doors have opened that I I'll explore a little, and then I'm like, no, no, yeah, no, no, no. My heart is like, mm -mm, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> so that's that's yeah, that's that's how I feel about that. <laughs> well, thank you for the Q and A. And uh, girls, do you want to hear one more song? Woo! <laughs> I don't think that was loud enough. Are you sure? Do you guys really want to hear one more song? <laughs> <laughs>